Hey guys, it's Ginger. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be giving Cindy a much needed manicure. So I have on right now just some Gel X that I popped on real quick. And I don't, I want something bright and pretty and summery. So let's do my nails. All right, so I am itching so hard to use this plate. So I've got to use it. This is the Maniology and uh, sea turtle conservancy cons conservancy I can't say that word sorry I'm sorry it's m295 <laughs> um, and we're gonna just we're gonna do something fun and summery and we're gonna put some sea turtles on our nails today I think so let's see if I can get the glare off of this plate um, I really love this image here and the coral. Oh, I don't know what to use. Ooh, this one with the little palm trees. So I think maybe some reverse stamping is in order for this. Um, I'm gonna give you as many tips and tricks and things as I can for stamping while we move along in this video. So um, reverse stamping is just basically where you stamp your outline and then you color it in and then you put it on your nail. Super easy to do and really a lot of fun. So yeah, maybe we'll have to do that. Doesn't this little guy look like Crush from Finding Nemo? <laughs> so cute. Okay, so I'm not sure exactly what I wanna do yet, but I pulled some colors here. Um, I've got a nice bright blue. This is aqua blue from Madame Glam and a kind of sandy color and this one is called food coma so i think i'm gonna do like this for like a beachy sandy kind of background and this for like maybe a watery background um i'm just gonna wing it so this is probably gonna be like a one nail at a time type of situation i don't know where i'm going with this yet but i'm gonna go ahead and do like a reverse stamp and get that going because you want to let your polish dry for that so let me zoom you in just a bit here. I'm gonna use this guy, cause he's so cute. And I think I'm going to pull some of these neons that Maniology sent me um, and just do a bunch of bright colors. So I've got a bright pink, a bright neon green. This is the Schools Out stamping collection. Little bundle there. Um, a bright blue and an orange and maybe a yellow. Which one did I not use? Okay, I've got another bright pink here. I don't know if I'll use them all or not, but they're there just in case. And I'm gonna check and see if I have any other greens real quick. Okay, so I have this like sagey green one, which is a little like a yellowy green. Um, and this is the only darker green that I can find. This one's from Clear Jelly Stamper uh, 038. Clear Jelly Stamper makes some great stamping polishes as well. Um, I think I'm gonna use this for my outline because I wanted something a little darker, but I didn't wanna use black. So what I'm gonna do is knock my camera around for a minute, <laughs> grab a paper towel, and I'm going to stamp this guy and then we're gonna just color them in with some bright colors. Hopefully this turns out the way I see it in my head. We will see. Oh, he picked up so perfect. Look at him, he's so cute. Okay, I'm just gonna mm, take off the extra here. There we go and color him in. So stamping polish dries pretty quickly, so you wanna kinda use one color at a time. Um, what color am I gonna make him? Use this bright green. I'm just gonna put a little dollop down, and I'm using a really small, thin liner. This did have gel in it. I'm gonna probably have to clean that out. I'm just going to kind of color that in. And I'm gonna do bright colors on the back. And I think I'm gonna make him green. And when I do this, I kinda do more of a tapping motion than a paint stroke motion. Some people like to do this with a dotting tool. I think it's kinda hard when the image is this small. 
in detailed, but when you have a bigger image, a dotting tool works well. Trying to stay in the lines as best I can. And then if you want to check where you're at, you can flip it over and you can see what it's going to look like. Look at how cute. So you got the darker green on the little fins there, not fins, <laughs> on his little legs. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to do his whole body this green color because that looks really cute. So after I got his green little body all filled in, I wanted to do his shell like really colorful. So I was going for like a mosaic, almost like stained glass look. So I'm just taking all of the colors and I'm just dabbing them in here and there and everywhere. Uh, no real rhyme or reason to it. And then after I get all the colors laid down, I go in with a white. It's, it's kind of an off white, but you could use a stark white if you wanted to and I cover up the entire shell. That way it fills in any little gaps I may have missed and it makes all of the um, colors that I put down really pop. So that is all done and I'm just gonna set him to the side. Okay, so I just put a first coat down on the middle finger of the tan color and on the ring and index finger of the blue color. Please disregard my band-aid. It looks a lot better than the poor little wound I have under it. <laughs> um, so now I'm gonna take a little bit of white and I'm just gonna like swirl it on here and give it kind of um, like a watery-ish background. This is a really super quick, easy way to do a marble. So I'm gonna go with my lighter color first. And I'm going to put some dots all over my nail. And then I'm going to take the blue and put dots all over my nail. And then I'm going to take another blue, I think a lighter one. Okay, so maybe a darker one. <laughs> this is uh, not suitable for work from the office collection. I'm gonna dot just a couple of those down here and there. I don't want a lot of this dark blue, but it's nice to have that um, uh, variegation in it. All right, and then I'm just going to swirl it around. I think I might need a little bit more white. You get another little dollop there. You, there's really no rhyme or reason to it, and you can't go wrong. I just want it to look marbly, a little ocean-ish, and not super, you know, defined. Kind of, kind of messy. Hopefully that makes sense. All right, hopefully you can see what I was going for there. And I just wanna put a little bit in here. So yeah, if you feel like you want it a little darker in spots, you can add more. Same with the white. If you feel like you want it lighter, add some more white. But I like that a lot. So it just gives the background a little bit of movement and it's not just this flat blue. So, just gives it a little something, something. So I'm gonna clean that up off of my skin real quick before I go into the light and cure. There we go, and I'm gonna cure that, and then I'm gonna do the same thing to this one here.
Okay, and so I'm going to put, let me see what this little turtle guy looks like here. I think he looks cute on top of the sandy color. He looks cute on top of the blue as well. Um, I think I'm gonna put him on this one. So I'm gonna do a second coat of this sandy color here. What was that called again? Food coma. And then I might put a little bit of this blue at the tip at an angle, kind of like the water coming up on the sand. I don't know. But you guys, this is extremely difficult with my left hand. <laughs> so please give me a thumbs up if you're enjoying this video. If you think I'm doing a good job. Like I said, it's very hard. With my non-dominant hand to do my dominant hand. But we're getting it. We are getting it. I don't know what I'm going to put on my pinky and thumb yet. Not too bad, right? Right? Pretty good. Pretty good. This finger's very crooked, so <laughs> I put my nail on kind of crooked. Shh, don't judge me. Okay, so I think I'm just going to take kind of that same technique and just put a couple dots down and just kind of swirl it around on the tip of my nail here. Oh, not too much, not too much. Don't drip. And the light blue. Let's see, oops, if that's enough or not. Gonna have it kind of come up at an angle a bit. Does not have to be perfect. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. That's cool. All right. I'm gonna pop that in the light and set. Okay, and while that's curing, so this has had plenty of time to dry, so this is now completely dry. Um, it could be a little hard to transfer that onto the nail if you're doing this with regular polish and your regular polish is completely dry, so that is where your sticky base coat will come in handy. So you put a coat of this down and you just let it get tacky. You don't let it dry 100%, but you let it set up a good bit and it's nice and sticky. And then that will pull this little guy right off the stamper onto your nail. Now with gel polish, it kind of leaves that sticky layer behind and you can't do this with every brand of gel polish. Some gel polish inhibition layers have kind of like a slimy quality to it. Like OPI is kind of like that, but Madam Glam have a nice kind of like just sticky, rubbery kind of tacky surface to it so when you touch it and it's and it's um cured but it doesn't have a top coat on it it's got that kind of sticky quality to it so it really helps to pull these images off of the stampers very well i've had great success with this so everybody cross your fingers i'm about to try to put the little turtle guy down um, but even over gel polish um, if you need to wipe your inhibition layer off because it is kind of a, a slimy inhibition layer, you can go ahead and add your sticky base coat on top of that and then let it set up and get tacky, transfer your image, and then just wait for everything to dry completely and then top it off with a gel top coat. It'll work fine that way as well. Okay, I want this little guy kind of like this. Oh my gosh, he is so stinking cute. Okay, and slowly rolling that off my finger. And there he is. Oh my goodness, he's so sweet. I love him. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, so cute. So, so cute. Okay, so that is completely dry and ready for top coat. Um, when you're transferring images like this that you've reverse stamped and you're using regular polish, um, you got to let that regular polish get completely dry before you top coat with gel. You don't want to top coat regular polish, stamping polish, anything like that with a gel top coat. If it's not completely dry, it's going to cause you some issues where it bubbles up. Um, now I've got to decide what I'm going to do with the rest of these. 
I know I want to use this image and I want to do like bright kind of like his shell like a rainbow kind of bright neon colors um do I want to put it I think I want to put it over this sandy color again I'm going to put that on my thumb and then figure something else out for maybe my pinky. Okay, so I went ahead and did two coats on my pinky as well of the same color. And then I'm gonna use, I think this one on my thumb and this one over here on my pinky and get the little baby baby turtles there. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do like a rainbow, kind of pull the, um, the concept of the pretty rainbow shell into the rest of the nails. So I'm gonna use these three colors here, a pink, a green, and a blue. So what you wanna do, is just take your colors and kind of dot them down here there whatever and then we're gonna smush them together and then if I get any on my brush like I did there I just wipe that off before I go back into the bottle so I don't contaminate it and you don't want to swipe 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 it'll get all like muddled up and gross looking so you'd like to try to do it in one swipe two if you have to and one looks good and then we're gonna take that pretty little rainbowy sea scene and plop it right onto the nail There we go, super cute. And if you are shopping at Maniology, pick up one of these cotton claws, so cool. Best little invention ever. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the same thing here and put that on my pinky. I don't know, we definitely won't get this full image, so try to get a little bit of each color into the turtles. <laughs> Okay, so for this one, I'm doing the same technique as I did for my thumb, but the image just wasn't working out too well. I, I don't know if my pinky was too small or it just, I don't know. I wanted the little turtles on there and it just wasn't translating well. So I tried it several times and it didn't work. So I ended up changing my mind and using the other turtle and still doing kind of the same technique. So we have all the colors in there, but yeah, sometimes, you know, ideas just don't work out and you've got to go with plan B. And I really love how it turned out. Okay, so I wasn't sure if this little guy was gonna fit and he did and he's so cute and you can tell he's a turtle. <laughs> so I was having some problems with the other image. It's just a little too big and the little turtles just weren't translating well. So I switched it up a bit. So we got this little guy here, so cute, okay. So all the nails are done now. So much fun. I absolutely love these neon stamping polishes. They are stunning. I would highly recommend picking up that whole kit because they all work beautifully. Okay, putting my lids back on and moving them out of the way so I don't make a mess. Now to top coat. So you can top coat with regular polish if you so wish. I'm gonna use gel. And what I love about the top coating part is it just makes everything come together. So you can see this little guy here. You'll see how cool this looks once the top coat goes on. Hopefully it's stay in frame, in focus, and all that good stuff. And inside, the nail not on the skin <laughs> but you can see how everything just kind of blends together so well and seamlessly and this could look so much better if I wasn't doing it with my left hand so the thing I love about gel is that it does not smear stamping if your you know polish is dry and stamping polish dries very quickly it will not smear, which is so fantastic. And the Madame Glam top coat is a wonderful gel top coat. It doesn't separate over stamping. Um, if you're new to stamping, sometimes when doing stamping and gel together, the gel top coat will kind of like pit 
and separate over um, the stamping and then it doesn't seal it in completely and you have to go in and do a couple coats uh, but the Madame Glam top coat is wonderful it does not do that uh, I do recommend though over like any kind of reverse stamping or anything that's a little bit you know um, thicker like that to go ahead and do two top coats of your gel top coat just to seal everything in completely and make sure that nothing's like sticking up and there we go and I just want to show you how this stuff glows in the light or under like a black light look at how pretty look at this one. <gasps> oh my goodness so pretty look at that turtle oh he's so cute Okay, so I'm going to clean this up and put some cuticle oil on and clean up my mess and I'll come back and show you what they look like all cleaned up. So uh, those are the finished nails. Tell me what you guys think. What's your favorite? I love how this blue turned out and the cute little turtle. He turned out so good. Um, I hope I've taught you guys some stuff and let me know what you think in the comments below. I know. I've had tons of requests for art videos, so I'm going to try to do more and more art videos as much as I possibly can. So I got a lot of art in this video. We got stamping, we got reverse stamping, we've got, I don't know what you call it, rainbow stamping, smushy, smeary stamping. <laughs> um, we got marble, a totally different marble technique than I've done, I think, on my channel before to show you guys how to do some cool water looking nails to give some texture. You can do that with any color really. It would look really cool. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you again to Maniology for sending me some of this stuff over. Um, I'm having a ball with it. <laughs> and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.